great. Hope everyone's well. So, something a bit different for today. Basically, we'll have a look at Stobart's or I don't know if it is, don't know if it is Stobart's anymore. The uh, the ports. So on one of my last videos, I was transferring the uh, Skelly trailers. Might be able to see them down there, the odd one. But this was the yard, this is where it was full of Skelly trailers. So anyway, they're now full of Morgan McLennan. The pads are cleaner. That's that one's a Robert Burns, actually. And there's a cleaner as well. An actual cleaner. But you can go all the way under here. I'll show you the other side now. So what down this rod? Let's cross this rod. Quick. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So yeah, we've got Fowler Welsh, Robert Burns, Morgan McLennan, some great bear up there. I've counted roughly around 250 trailers, just not being used at all. More great bears. Down the bottom. A couple of store bites as well. Yeah, all these trailers has not been used. I mean, they're mainly all fridge units. It's crazy. They don't look damaged or anything. So there's a lot of money there just sat. There's a lot of money just sat there. Not earning money, if that makes sense. Don't know if they've lost contracts or not, but they couldn't have replaced all these in one go. So what I'm going to do today is have a little walk down. I'm going to walk down this road, under that bridge, and I'm going to have a look at the other containers as well. You can probably see the ports, cranes over there. And the train. So I'm going to look at the crane over there. There's another one right at the back, where the trains going under now and um, have a little walk around have a little explore see what I can see from the public place and then we'll uh, might get the drone up in a bit let's have a walk around so we're on a uh, ground level now let's have a little walk around Like a little uh, tribute to Mark. Don't want to go on the grass. Memory of Mark William Walters. You'll never walk alone. Drivers at staff at Tesco distribution centre. Now issue staff and Tesco DC drivers staff at, at the ports. See, so yeah, a nice tribute to someone who's passed away. So we'll see if anyone's up there. There probably is someone up there. Can't quite see. I've not seen it moving around since I've came. Is there all uh, liquid or gas in there? I think it's just liquid. 
That's someone having a tyre fixed, I think, on the trailer. As you can see, there's a lot of containers. This isn't even the, the main container part. So yeah, I'm just gonna do something. Oh, there's a nice little, little shot there. The guy just dropping it on. That's a heavy piece of machinery, that. That's how quick it can just get loaded on, and off he goes. I'm gonna pick him up. I think he's gonna. He's gonna pick another one up here now. So leaning this lamp post to make it a bit more steady. It's amazing how it can just pick it up. Some pins will drop it, go in the top of it. I think as quick as that, it's grabbed it from the top. Now go straight on to another skelly. Yeah, so I don't think we're going to get many good shots from, the, from here. Everything's blocked from containers. You can actually see now the other video up. You can see the other crane just in the distance moving around. Probably got something just. No, it's a, it's a CCTV. Oh, there's, there's the actual crane. See, the full rig moves up and down its own rail tracks. So, we can see that drone assist. There's no restrictions where I am. There is a restriction there for lift below port. But this is where I am now. So wind is 13 miles an hour, gusts of 24 miles an hour. Which is still okay for this, this drone. So, about 30 meters there now, 40 meters. So if I look night to do, or flat, zero degrees, I'm higher than all the uh, the cranes and everything. Way higher. We're going to be drawn back down. 
Ja. Yes, there's um, the Stobats trailer going around the roundabouts. Yeah, it's one of my uh, only good friends. Don't want to say his name, don't want to get him in trouble. You know what they like. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> Feel like a spotter. Right. So we're 30 meters now. I want to get back up to the forty. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll oh, put his sport mode now. Cine mod. So he's gonna go he's gonna go down this road here. You, if you watch all my videos, you know the end of that road is where the uh, the rail terminal is. We'll be picking up some coils. If you're also gonna go in if you're gonna go into Stobart's ports, stick it in spot mod. Try and avoid the, uh, the seagulls. So you'd head down here. This is a staff car back on the left. Seems a bit bright. I don't know how to adjust that brightness now. Either way, we'll make do. That's the. Um, the bridge you can go over from the car park to the office. The office is just here in the centre of the picture here. This white building doesn't really stand out. And these are the main bulk of the containers. See if there's a zoom in on this. Don't think anything is happening with these containers. Hold on, I heard some beeping then. Some, I think it does like a beep when it's uh, well, there. You go, it's in movement now. Let's see what's happening. back in cine mod because the cine mod is where all my movements are a bit smoother that's what it looks like it's going to be offloading this container Let's zoom in a bit more So it is a bit windy. I've gone a bit higher than what I was hoping for. I've gone like 58 meters. Just so I can still see the drone. You see the driver there, he stands on that red red hash. Just in case the worst should happen. He is out the way, you can see it coming, and he's got time to move. He's not allowed to stay in the cab at all. Let's 
see where he's putting that. It's only a small one, that. Is that, uh, is that 20 foot? So there must be a computer system that tracks where these are. They're like three or four down in a certain row. You can just about see it moving on the rails itself, swing towards us. And that's where it's going. It's going to be living for a couple of days, a couple of hours, who knows. You got all these that are either waiting to be tipped. Yeah, the, yeah, they're waiting to be tipped. So these, these, these have not been. Uh, don't know why there's not two cranes working though. All oh, these are waiting to get tipped. I always wondered, do they have a toilet on there or not? now yeah so like I say it's get, it is a bit windy so I'm gonna bring it back for the time being and we're gonna have a look at us uh, we're gonna have a look at those trailers over there but in the meantime it's gonna head back to me right so embarrassingly my battery died as <laughs> I was gonna do this other shot So, like I said, this is just the the storage of these trailers. So let's have a look at how I am. Oh, about thirty meters, fine. So let's have a quick look over here. So I'm way above everything that I need to be over. I'm mainly concerned about the the railway, but yeah, as you can see, super high over everything, even the road over there. So, just click it into sport mode so I can go a bit faster. So I'm 40 meters now. So this is the um, the section that I picked the skellies up from a couple of videos ago. As you can see it's absolutely ram packed, full of fridge units now. And then just underneath the bridge. That's my car there, by the way. That red car. That's from parked, so I can actually see the drone. So all these here. I feel, I feel, I feel as though there was more yesterday. I'm not too sure. I counted about two. I was like estimating in tens. About 250. We'll look a bit lower. It's all these store bats here. Absolutely jammed. <laughs> I don't even know how they're going to get them out because that's raised the trailer legs. So they can't just pick a random one out of that. You have to stand at the side of the, the trailer to to wind the legs up, so maybe start with this. That one there, it's got a big bit of a gap. But even then, you can't work that way, can you? You have to work from... <sighs> right up there to get to these ones. <laughs> yeah, a bit higher. And then we've got um, all the great birds. Some skips over there. That's an old Tesco rail. Let's 
getting a bit of height. That's what's struggling there. Just to get the uh, the video reception. So I can see the the, the, the ports over the rod there. Over the tracks, you say. Yeah, the video on my screen on my mobile is a bit jittery, so I don't know if that's going to transfer over to the actual um, full video or not. But that was it, really. Uh, I just found it a bit interesting. Just found it a bit interesting that all these fridge units just not in use at all. Just a bit odd, that's all. And I'm just going to go a bit higher and we'll try and get the whole ports in one shot. Go back a bit. And there we go. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, it's a bit different. And if you want me to look at different sites like this, I will. Um, I do watch a lot of auditing videos. I don't fancy doing that. I don't fancy the confrontation that's involved in getting the views. I'll go and send the send the drone up where I'm allowed to send it up. And by allowed, I mean where it's legal to send up. But I just thought that was a bit interesting having all these, all them, and all them just hanging around. And if you're not interested, <laughs> that's, that's perfectly fine. Right, so catch you on the next one. I'll speak to you soon.